And so this video begins in Nashville, Tennessee. And we come to Music City Road, Broadway. I've always wanted to come down here. This is awesome. Sunday morning coming down. This is awesome. We're headed to another place I've always wanted to go. On the corner of 3rd and Broadway, looking back to Music City Road, Broadway right there. We're taking the corner here on 3rd, because right over here is where we're going. The Johnny Cash Museum. Ever since I was a young boy, and my dad introduced me to Johnny Cash, I have been a huge fan. The Man in Black. Wow, this is finally going down. Also next is, uh, next to it, Johnny Cash Bar and Barbecue. They serve breakfast. And right here, the Sun Diner. Like Sun Records, where Johnny Cash began. Sun Diner Nashville, there's much ahead. Hello, I'm Tampa J. This is Chris the Girl, my fiance. This is our first time in downtown Nashville. I'm a huge fan of country music. I was raised on country music and rock and roll. I, I love the old stuff. And when I say old stuff, I mean Johnny Cash. I've always wanted to come here. And we're gonna go and give you a tour. You're gonna see what we're gonna see. And you're gonna do what we're gonna do vicariously. This is really going down. I can't believe we're cold. It's cold down here. We're gonna head into the museum. There's much ahead, and then we're gonna eat. And the sign all lit up. That's awesome. Johnny Cash, number one music museum in America, thanks to USA Today. You can see the gift shop through the window. There's young Johnny Cash right there. And then here is the entrance. Also inside is the Patsy Cline Museum. And Chris, she's gonna cover the Patsy Cline Museum, another legend, big fan of Patsy Cline, and I'm gonna do the Johnny Cash. We're gonna mix it up, make it different. Check out her video as well. And then after we're done with the museum, we're gonna go next door to Johnny Cash's Bar and Barbecue. They are selling breakfast, and we're gonna eat it. All right, they're open nine to seven. Okay, so here we go. I paid for my ticket here, $28.95. I'm an adult, starting in the gift shop. Folsom Prison Brew. We'll check this out later. But I'm about to begin. Chris is gonna go upstairs to the Patsy Cline Museum. I believe her ticket is the same as well. This is a really cool store. Check this out. All right, here we come, Johnny. So stoked. All right, so this is where the museum begins. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. And this is what we're dealing with. Check it out, there's a nice timeline of Johnny from the 1950s all the way to the 2000s. A lot of folks in here. These are actual instruments and amplifiers from the Johnny Cash and the Tennessee 2. Check this out, stand up bass. And there you go, Johnny and the Tennessee 2. Wow, these were their instruments. Johnny Cash is one of the few recording artists in history to have charted hits on audio formats, which include 78, 45, 33, one third records, reel to reel audio tapes, four track and eight track tapes, cassette tapes, CDs, MP3 downloads. Here's some examples of some of that stuff. Look at this, Johnny Cash. At San Quentin Prison on A-Track. Okay, this is awesome. This is one of my favorite, if not the favorite, Johnny Cash song. This is the handwritten manuscript of Folsom Prison Blues. Look at this. Johnny Cash, 1955. That I'm getting goosebumps on my goosebumps. That's amazing. I hear the trade are coming. It's rolling around the bend. Johnny Cash Custom Gibson J200 Acoustic Guitar. It says right there, this is one of two guitars that was actually played in concert and commissioned by Johnny Cash himself. And look, I think he's actually holding that guitar right there. Wow, that's amazing. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. I don't see anything written that says this is his actual 
Air Force uniform, but Johnny Cash was in the Air Force in the 1950s. If you've seen the movie Walk the Line, there's a very cool scene of him playing the guitar and writing uh, Folsom Prison Blues and several other songs as he served time in Germany. Here's a silk shirt worn by Johnny Cash uh, a number amount of times. And if you look down here, there's an actual photograph of him wearing the shirt in 1958. Also, here's a pair of his custom-made cowboy boots. It's pretty gnarly. And look at this, there's actually a letterhead here written by Johnny. Dear Helen, just a note to say thanks a million for all of the hard work you did in securing members for the club. It is a deeply appreciated and I am so grateful for a fan like you. It's a fan letter. Johnny Cash. This section over here talks about Johnny Cash and his relation to San Quentin Prison, also, also Folsom Prison. There's the Folsom Prison rehearsal tape, reel-to-reel -reel tape at the rehearsal held at the El Rancho in Modesto, California, January 1968. And you can see Johnny's autograph on the top there. Also, there's some Folsom Prison guard badges. This is so cool. There's just so much stuff to look at in here. It's awesome. I'm taking my time, too. I'm a huge fan of Johnny. My grandfather, both my grandfathers, had the privilege of seeing him in concert. I never did, but I grew up listening to all of the songs, and when Walk the Line came out, I saw that movie five times in the theater, and once with my grandpa, so that was really cool. Here's a jumpsuit worn by Johnny Cash. It says, Johnny Cash Show. Cash. Custom jumpsuit worn by Cash during the San Quentin Prison rehearsal in 19... 69 so Johnny Cash actually wore that suit Wow and here's an auto harp and this belonged to Mabel Carter June Carter's uh, mother she actually played this and here's a song called put the sugar to bed written by Johnny Cash and Mabel Carter and this is the manuscript right here that's really awesome and there's Johnny Cash and June Carter married day and look this is a copy of their marriage license if you look down here there's a cigarette case circa 1960s that belonged to Johnny Cash a black fox alligator and sterling silver case which belonged to Johnny and check this out it's before one of his suits that he wore a very famous Johnny Cash suit and actually he's wearing it right there in that picture and songbook. That's that suit right here. Whoa. All right, so this is where it starts to really open up. There's a room to the left. There's the Johnny Cash Theater and Film. There's a bunch of his platinum gold records. And then it goes over here to some of his awards. This is the Country Music Association Award 2003 Music Video of the Year for Hurt. And Johnny passed away right after that in 2003. That's a great song too. Just popped into the theater to show you what's going in here. Is that Gordon Lightfoot? There's some of the movie posters Johnny's been in. Johnny Cash, the man, his world, his music. Sunday morning coming down. Love that song. Written by Chris Christopherson. My head that didn't hurt. And the beer I had for breakfast wasn't bad. So I had one more for dessert. This is a cowboy hat worn by Cash and the portrayal of character Kid Cole in the TV series Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. And here is another top hat worn by Cash in the portrayal of Chief John Brown in the PBS movie Trail of Tears, which I never saw. I gotta watch that. Here's a still shot signed by Johnny Cash. Kirk Douglas, Johnny Cash, a gunfight signed by Kirk Douglas and Johnny Cash. Whoa, I'd love to have that. That's amazing to see. Here's another hat 
won by cash in the betrayal of Sheriff Curly Wilcox in the TV series Stagecoach. I did see that. All right, so this is awesome. So on the back wall of the theater, we've got actual instruments, Johnny Cash's suits. And over here, all these dresses worn by the Carters. June, Helen, Anita, and Mabel, the mother. So June, Helen, Anita, and Mabel's dress. And then I've seen him wear this. I've seen videos of him wearing this. That's amazing. That's Johnny Cash's suit. Holy cow. Stage suit circa 1970s. An elaborately embroidered stage suit designed by Manuel. Worn by Cash during numerous TV and concert appearances. It's beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Okay, so this is Marshall Grant's bass, Epiphone bass. Johnny Cash's bass player, Tennessee 2. That is the bass he used to play at the San Quentin prison. Whoa. Love that performance. And this is W.S. Holland drum kit, circuit late 60s, original drum kit used by Cash's one and only drummer on the Johnny Cash ABC television series and in numerous concerts around the world. I used to have a blue drum kit myself. That rocks. I don't like to brag, but we're kind of proud of that ragged old flag. So this was my grandmother's favorite song. She loved Johnny Cash. It's a really cool display here. Got a little riff in your Check it out. This is Johnny Cash's bicentennial suit, worn in 1976, also designed by Manuel. Check out the back. I remember seeing this as well in a video. That's so cool. And check out the pant legs. And this is the National Medal of Arts presented to Johnny Cash by President George W. Bush on April 22nd, 2002. That would be Earth Day. The National Medal of Arts is the highest honor an entertainer can receive in recognition for exemplary and outstanding contributions to American culture. That's really cool. This is Johnny's suit that he wore in 1971 at the White House performing for Richard Nixon. And check this out, there's a picture right here. Johnny June, the President and the First Lady wearing this suit. That's remarkable. All right, this really opens up. So there's several things you can do in here as far as audio, all the way around there's audio spots. Here's another timeline. Johnny's face is through the ages. Sun Records, Sam Phillips, the man that put Johnny on the map. Always remember that scene and walk the line. These two displays are in tribute to Sun Records. Oh, there's a Roy uh, Orbison at the Rock House. Oh, there's all kinds of cool stuff over here. And of course, you can't mention Sun Records and not mention Elvis Presley. That's where he originally left the building. There's a picture of Sam Phillips up there and Johnny holding that record right there in their hand. I walked the line, 1955. That is freaking amazing. Like Sam Phillips and Johnny Cash, right there holding that in Sun Records and now it's right here before us. That is freaking sick. Also Sun Records, Roy Orbison. There's some of uh, Roy's shoes there. Uh, his guitar case, Jerry Lee Lewis, Sun Records, also toured with Johnny. We've got, oh, that's Jerry Lee Lewis's suit in there. Wow, great balls of fire. So, I almost missed Roy Orbison's glasses. He's wearing, he's wearing them there on that album cover, and they're right before us. Roy Orbison, Elvis Presley, Carl Perkins, and Jerry Lee Lewis. These are cool. You just tap to continue. Let's do the king. It's, oh, you can actually listen to all his performances. That's all right, mama. 
one of my favorite movies as far as like um, you know biography walk the line it's really cool to see some screen used props guitars instruments Joaquin Phoenix there's there's Joaquin Phoenix suit from walk the line why you always wear black Johnny looks like you're going to a funeral maybe I am all right, here's Joaquin Phoenix and Reese Witherspoon, June Carter, Johnny Cash. Check out their outfits here from the movie. Here they are right here. That's pretty awesome. They even got their shoes. Really cool performance. They both actually sang for the movie, which I thought made the movie even better. They both sang. And I, I believe Reese Witherspoon was offered a record soundtrack or a contract down because she sings really well. And I think she actually turned it down. And Johnny Cash would always say he learned how to sing from his mother. And very cool and what an honor to stand before the actual Cash family piano that used to sit in their home. That is, wow, it's amazing. There's a picture of Johnny and his sister Reba on Thanksgiving 1967 in front of this very piano. The Cash family piano. The Wing Grand upright piano built in the 1880s belonged to Johnny Cash's paternal grandparents, the Reverend William Henry Cash and Rebecca Sarah Jane Overton Cash. It was purchased from a magazine mail order advertisement and sent uh, free on approval by the Wing and Son Company to Arkansas. That's so awesome. Wow, beautiful piano. William Henry Cash, seated center. Surrounded by family members, Johnny Cash's father, Ray Cash, the youngest of 12 siblings, stands in to Reverend Cash's right. So, right there. Little Johnny. A well put together museum and tribute to the man in black. It's a cool advertisement. Stand up, cardboard cutout of Johnny. Get the hot sound with a Honer harmonica. And then over here, Acme boots not only look good, they wear even better. And then down here, Summer Cash. Highlighting Sun Records and a few of his albums. Oh. And here's a wall of Johnny's albums, all of them. I have this album at home, my dad owns it. He bought it when it came out. Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, and Chris Christopherson, all the outlaws. So his first album came out in 1957 and his last one was 2002. And that's when he released the single Hurt Hurt was on that album. That, that was actually a cover written by Nine Inch Nails. Here it is right here, actually. That's his last album, 2002. The House of Cash was opened in Hendersonville, Tennessee in 1970 and included a museum, Johnny's personal office, and his recording studio. Many Cash family members joined in the support of the business, including Johnny's mother and several siblings. And here is the sign that used to hang outside of House of Cash, the first Johnny Cash Museum just outside of Nashville, more towards Opryland. I believe I saw this when I was a kid and I may actually went through there with my parents. I, have to, I would have to ask my mom. We definitely did the Willie Nelson Museum about 30 years ago, but I remember seeing this sign. Johnny Cash lived in Hendersonville, a suburb or a little town just outside of Nashville. Here is some of his china dining furniture this thing here sat inside of his home whoa very beautiful henderson lake house touch to begin johnny's lake house was built into the side of a cliff on old hickory lake it was complete with 100 year old timber a sod roof and stone walls part of that will wall is displayed in our exhibit so we gotta look out for that but this used to sit this is Johnny Cash's like little bar some of the relics from his house there's a picture over here of the lake house okay so I didn't see it this is the stone wall 
from the lake house. It's right behind the hutch. Wow, that's so cool. Here is a Valentine's Day box of chocolates given to June from Johnny, February 14th, 1998. My love, my life, for life. Signed Johnny Cash. That is amazing. And there's Johnny Cash in the lake house. Looks like he fell in love with the house on the lake the moment he saw it. Builder Braxton Dixon was erecting the beautiful structure structure as a home for his own family. But Cash worked hard to convince Dixon to sell it. The, build, the builder finally agreed, bought it in 1968. And we're making our way. This looks to be near the end of the museum. There's a lot of memorabilia in here, autographs. This whole case on the Highwaymen, Waylon Jennings, Chris Christopherson, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash. Here's a guitar signed by all those men. There's the Highwaymen album cover signed, quoted. Looks like Willie Nelson says, I was a Highwayman. Oh, he wrote the lyric of the song. They all wrote their lyrics. This shirt worn by Johnny, check it out. Right behind him, a picture of Johnny Cash and Paul McCartney <coughs> wearing this exact shirt. That's awesome. Two of my favorites right there. Johnny's famous duster that he wore in this photo. Look at this. Definitely seen this before. Also notice the guitar he's holding. It's right here. Whoa, some more clothes worn by Johnny. Also June Carter's dress there in the center. And this is a 1997 Martin guitar D42, Johnny Cash signature model. Cash himself designed the instrument and fewer than 150 were produced. Check that out, it's a beautiful guitar. I would love to play it. If you guys didn't know, I play guitar. And, uh, when I was in high school, I really dug in, uh, dug deep into Johnny Cash and learned a few of his songs. Would really like to have that guitar. <laughs> and another display of worn clothing from the Cash family. Check out these jackets over here. Johnny Cash Silver, 1980. Crew jackets made to commemorate Cash's 25th anniversary concert tour. So the, these were worn by the Johnny Cash crew members on the tour. Here's a string of Buckeye beads. Cash made this string of Buckeye beads for his sister Reba. In his song, Flesh and Blood, he mentions making this string of Buckeye beads. Wow, those are the actual beads he made. Johnny Western is a friend of mine. Signed, Johnny Cash. February 21st, 1988. Saw that guitar. So in here we have Johnny Cash's credit card, harmonica, his glasses, and the briefcase. And many letters uh, written by Cash to June while they were vacationing on Cinnamon Hill, their vacation home in Jamaica. That's Johnny Cash's American Express right there. That's awesome, and there's his glasses. Also, it says this leather briefcase used by Cash throughout the 1970s bearing the initials JRC. There you go. Actually, it just says JC. And these are custom stage outfits worn by Johnny and June for several performances. Definitely remember this dress, it looks very familiar. The 1974 Cash Commission custom buckles for 99 close friends and associates. The first 99 were produced in high relief, uh, relief bronze. The 100th was created in 14 karat gold as a gift cash by his management to commemorate the 20th anniversary of his show business. So those were fabricated by Johnny and given to his friends. And this was a necklace crafted by Johnny himself. He was a, a creator. Beautiful, it looks like uh, bronze and leather. Johnny liked to draw, and he liked to paint, and he liked to take pictures. Looks like he went to Israel. Look at this. Johnny Cash's camera. So this 
is the chair that Johnny is sitting on and singing in the music video Hurt, which is playing right now. His very last music video, that chair, right there behind him. It's freaking amazing. There's a bust of Johnny that used to sit in the Country Music Wax Museum, which I have been to. Johnny wrote a few books. Johnny Cash, Man in Black, Johnny Cash, Man in White, and Cash. He did peace given to Cash as a gift in recognition of his works on behalf of the Seneca Indian tribe. And the very last thing, just before the exit, crucifix ring. Cash cherished his crucifix ring, which was given to him on his 70th birthday. And it now sits before us. It's very beautiful. This is one of the best experiences of my life. Huge fan of Johnny Cash. Hope you enjoyed the tour. He once sat in that chair. And all of that you just saw happen behind that door. And we exit in the gift shop. Right over there is where we entered. Chris the girl actually had to go upstairs to the Patsy Klein Museum. That took a little over an hour. I took my time in there. I was really reading a lot of the stuff. I tried to give you as much as I could with everything going down. This is pretty awesome. Check out the motorcycle over here, the Johnny Cash motorcycle. It's really cool. Looks kind of steampunk. Got Johnny on the gas tank. It's awesome. Looks like this was in uh, V-Twin magazine. There it is right there, Cash Money. Johnny Cash, the action figure. Also, Cool Sun Records cups. How was it? Amazing. Just amazing. I can't wait to watch your video. So I can't wait to watch your video. Did you like it? Oh, wow. I was getting very emotional in there being Me a big too. fan. And yeah. it's well put together. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff. Like yeah. stuff they wore, yeah. stuff they did, pieces really from the house. The You're going to have to see it. I'm sure you really wanted to see so it. next time we, I go yeah, Patsy Cline, we switch. So check out her video. Purchasing this shirt, Johnny Cash Museum specific Nashville, Tennessee shirt, $32.95. We're gonna get this and go get some breakfast. Sounds good. I'm Johnny hungry. Cash barbecue. Goo Goo Chocolate Company. Ooh, Goo Goo Clusters since 1912. Those are great. Okay, so yeah, you walk out. There's this third street up there's Broadway. As I, as I showed you before, Johnny Cash's barbecue, and they serve breakfast. Famous picture with Johnny, his back turned, his guitar. Now Neon right here in Nashville. We are open. They open at nine. Oh, there's light music inside. Let's go. Oh. This is awesome. Hey. Playing some Pure Prairie League. Awesome. Let's get some biscuits. Yeehaw. That was great. And check out the back wall. This is where you come up to get seated. This is really cool. Johnny up there above the bar. It is Sunday morning, so there's no one hardly at the bar. There's no one at the bar. <laughs> this is really cool. So Johnny's gonna be looking at me while I'm eating my breakfast. And me too. You too. Check this out. Oh, this is so sick. Johnny Cash's Bar and Barbecue breakfast menu, of course. They have a Sunday morning coming down option, just like the song, three eggs any style with bacon sauces and your choice of two pancakes or a waffle, 17 bucks. 
I think I might do, I love biscuits and gravy. I might do the biscuits and gravy. Also they have hot chicken and biscuits and something called the triple stack. Three pancakes with butter, warm maple syrup, your choice of plain blueberry banana, or chocolate chip with cream available upon request. Now playing Marshall Tucker Band. Can't you see? I walk the line. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash's kitchen and saloon. Scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, biscuits, and gravy. Home fries. Chris got the eggs, home fries, and biscuits. This is going to be the hardiest meal I've had in a long time. I've been eating healthy. Today is definitely a cheat day for me. But I love breakfast. I just, I just got to do this. Also, I got to post that. The food is really good. Nice little breakfast stop. We're on our home. We're on our way home today. We're going back to Tampa. We both work tomorrow. Um, this is a great stop, right through Nashville. We've got about an 11 hour drive after we end this video. So just keep that in mind and wish us luck. We're coming home. Uh, did very well. Yeah, really we'll be back. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Also love Lily Nelson. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be YouTubers. Alright, follow them on Instagram. Jake Loman. Looks like they're selling merch. Just gave a tip. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Let them be doctors and lawyers and such. One of my favorite songs. Check them out. Jake Loman. Instagram. And good thing we got here early this morning. Whoa. Music City Row. Coming alive out here. I hear a lot of live music. Look at this. We're walking back to our car. There was like no one but us here earlier. Passing by Jason Aldean's restaurant. Now that's the way to see Nashville. She thinks for Tractor Sexy. Nashville Tractor Tour. All right, we'll have to check that out sometime. It says I got plowed. I guarantee they sell t-shirts. Yeah! Congratulations, I know someone did something. All right, folks, I think this is where we're gonna end the trip. We are exhausted, but we had a great time this weekend. It was a long weekend. We both took a couple days off work. We're heading home. We got about a 10 hour drive. If you liked the video, if you enjoyed the Johnny Cash Museum, if you're a big fan of Johnny Cash, I hope, thank you for coming and I hope you enjoyed it. If it's your first time here, please subscribe below. And come on back, but please give the video a thumbs up and go check out Chris's video, the Patsy Klein video. I will post that in the in the description below. Also, just check out her channel. There's always a link in the description. Thank you. You're welcome. We got a long drive, so we got to get going. It was very awesome coming to Nashville downtown for the first time, and we will be back. There's always much ahead. Know that you're awesome. Know that you're loved. No matter who you are or what you're going through, just know there's much ahead. If you want to come down to Nashville, 
and live your dream, do it. So many people have started right here and they have made it. And some of them actually have restaurants now. Yeah. A lot it, of them do. It could be you. There's much ahead.